Today I was fortunate enough to come across one of these spiders. This is the Argiope arantia, more commonly known as the yellow garden spider. The yellow garden spiders have a bright yellow and black coloration. They construct their webs in sunny areas with plants, which usually tends to be in people's gardens, hence where they get their name from. They are found throughout the United States, Canada, Mexico, and Central America. They do have venom, but it is harmless to humans and hurts less than a bee sting. It uses the venom to mobilize prey that gets caught in their web. These spiders are orb weavers, meaning they spin circular webs just like the one I've done here. The spider has a unique zigzag web pattern in the middle which makes it easy to tell that it's a yellow garden spider. These spiders also have an extra claw on each foot. Most spiders have two, but these guys have three to help build their complex webs. Sometimes these spiders will connect themselves to the web by a thread of silk and hide in the underbrush, waiting for an insect to get caught in the web so it can feel the vibrations that go after its meal. You can tell that this one is a female because of its super bright colors and also its large body length. Females are three times the size of males. Males are less striking in appearance, they have brownish legs and have less yellow coloration on their abdomen. Here you got a little beetle and threw it onto the web of the spiders to try and see if he would eat it, but I think I was standing too close so he got a little scared. But anyways, what they do is they'll get right on top of their prey and start wrapping it up in his web, just like a little cocoon, and then just, they'll just eat it. Here's a bit of a closer look at the spider. Um, I hope you guys learned something new about the yellow garden spider, and thank you for watching.